Let's see. Should I make myself a bit louder? Game a bit quieter. Make myself a bit louder. A bit louder? Because the music's gonna get louder than that. I don't want to turn down the music too much because the music is really gosh darn good. Sound pretty good? Okay. That's good. Oh, I am so ready. I'm so ready for this game. I'm so, so gosh darn ready. Yeah, I got the chat box. And it works nice on a black background. Plus, we have to fill up some of that space because, yeah, the best way to view this game is obviously in the native, like, DS view. Speaking of uh, playing this game while, before we get started in the game, the best way to play this game is obviously, I think, the original DS ver version. So that would be like getting the game itself, like a physical copy, and playing it on a DS, 3DS, preferred DS console of choice. They go for about 25 bucks on Amazon. There is, and I will get to that in a sec. And then there's also the mobile port, which is actually fairly good. They improved like a lot of the art a lot for that version. And the battle system in that game, it isn't, it's pretty good. It's okay. It's like less than 20 bucks. It's about 20 bucks for the mobile version. And I think that's also an acceptable way to enjoy the game. If you don't want to go through the whole process of emulating this game or like buying a DS or anything, even though DS and stuff, like you can get one pretty cheap at this point. And then there's the switch port, which unfortunately is a rush hack job of a port that they tried to sell for 50 bucks and was not worth it at all. Because what they did with the switch port is they took the mobile version of the game and instead of playing with your finger in like console mode, you just play with the switch one of the switch controllers as the pointer so try doing all the stuff that you would do in a combat game like an action rpg which with a pointer instead of like your actual finger and it works fine in tablet mode like it's just this phone game in tablet mode but in console it just sucks to play it really does which is unfortunate because they even added on new like story content and a whole new chapter to it which they had teased with the phone game and it's probably honestly the closest we're ever going to get to a sequel of this game because this game was originally created by square enix and jupiter in 2008 for the ds and the project lead on it was tetsu tetsuya namura i think i'm pronouncing that right and if his name sounds familiar it should he is now Square Enix's premier director. Uh, he originally started off working on designs for characters, starting in, I think, like lead designer in around Final Fantasy VII. And he's the one making the Final Fantasy VII remake. He's also the creator of the Kingdom Hearts games. And which is why some of the characters from this game showed up in one of the Kingdom Hearts games the 3DS one. So unfortunately, since the Switch port bombed and they added on some extra story content in there, that's probably the best continuation we're going to get of this of this story, which the story in this is really good. Yeah. Like the guy who created this is the same guy who created King March, so. Although this uh, game story is a lot more it's kind of like also the like the first Kingdom Hearts game where it has a lot of interesting ideas and a good strong world building. It might have gotten worse uh, in the sequels, like some of like it might have gotten more convoluted in some sequels, but then we'd actually have sequels. 
with some Devil Survivors I did. Yeah. You might play Devil Survivor, because there's the Tensai one, 1 and 2, both on the DS. Although they did remake, I think, the first one, at least, for the 3DS, with better graphics and some more voice acting and stuff. So, Although there is a Devil Survivor Strange Journey, which is also nice, too. Which I actually prefer Strange Journey over the other one, the other Devil Survivor. I don't know, something about that game, like, it just... There's not a good amount of progression in that game for some reason. I don't know. It feels it feels very I don't know, maybe it's just a bit harder than I'm used to. It's not bad by any means. And I would probably give it a try playing it again, but something about that game didn't hit me quite right. But in any case, I'm so gosh darn ready to play this game. Strange Journey is the Dungeon Crawler one. Yep, yep. Like the one with the Aterian Odyssey, like dungeon thing I don't know that game's story was kind of interesting to me um, even though I do like the kind of the story or the ideas of the other game that I have I haven't finished that one though so although I I do have the manga that I want to read at some point so maybe I should play that so I can read the manga we play it on stream at some point but we I already know what the next two or three games we're gonna play on stream is but I am so ready to play this game so let's start playing out of my face you're blocking my view Shut up. Stop talking. Just go the hell away. All the world needs is me. I got my values. So you can keep yours, all right? I don't get people. Never have, never will. Yeah. Hmm. No spoilers. Absolutely no spoilers, by the way. I'm going to be pretty stringent on that because this game is best played without spoilers. It's a really good game. It's fun to play. Like I said, there's a couple different ways to play it. I guess you could buy the Switch version and just play it in docked mode if that's a, your, or not in docked mode, in a handheld mode, because then it just becomes the mo phone game pretty much. But it's 25 bucks, and the original game is also pretty much like 25 bucks on Amazon. So like, and then the phone is like 20 bucks. So if you want to play the phone one, just buy it for 20 bucks and you can play it on your phone or your tablet or whatever. And if you want to play the original, it's 25 bucks, you know, so. Or you could just emulate, yeah. Careful though, if you use Desmume, you have to change some of the sound configuration because otherwise it doesn't, it sounds, it gets really bad because this game puts a lot of strain on the sound system of the DS just because like it has one of the best soundtracks. Yeah, or the 2DSs are pretty good cheap right now. Hey, Chime. I like how some of this filler text actually comes back in the story. 
not spoiling anything, just saying that some of this stuff, like, is referenced later in the game, too, in the story and stuff. There's a lot of small details to see in this game. I just have to ha hope that he's actually a man. I would encourage you definitely to follow along with the story, because this story is really gosh good. It's really good. <gasps> I'm also going to have to try not to sing along with the music. Because I really like this game's soundtrack. Seven days. What? Huh? That's just tutorial stuff. You're good as gone. And we have to escape from this fight because we don't have any way to fight right now. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Okita. Yeah, all of the enemies in this game are like based off of like um, tag art, basically. All like the all the art and the music, everything about this game is very unique for uh, JRPGs. Oh, there's so many small details in that uh, um, intro that you only get if you watch <sighs> it back again after you beat the main game. Hey, Okita. Hey, Firewatch. Yeah, go ahead and lurk. I'm taking time out of my busy grinding schedule to stream, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you guys have to. Here we go again. <laughs>
Am I scrolling too fast? Let me know if I am. I'm slowing down a little bit from my normal reading speed, so... Should be about right. Don't worry, you're kind of supposed to be, because our MC doesn't know anything about what's going on either. Right now we're just going through tutorial stuff anyway, so... We can't actually even die here. You see, we don't even have an HP bar. I'm just practicing uh, dodging for later. There we go. So, who's next? Here's a Shiki Miyazaki. See, he doesn't even know why he's here. Twenty minutes left. Neku, Neku Sakuraba.
Neku is actually a pretty, very, fairly like observant and smart MC. So he'll actually pick up on a lot of stuff that you, the player, would actually pick up on. So that's always nice. This is just explaining uh, how the top screen battles work. Basically, top screen is controlled by the D-pad or the A, B, X, Y buttons, and then the bottom screen is controlled by the... Yeah. Right, yeah, because it was weird, because he didn't know... Because there was a lot of weird things going on, and he probably just thought, oh, he just like disappeared into the crowd or something. But anyway, uh, bottom screen is controlled by the mouse or the touch screen, and the top screen is controlled by the D-pad or ABXY, and they happen at the same time. Both the player and the enemies share HP between the top and the bottom screen. This battle system is quite, it's quite comp, yeah, it's quite complicated. Like it's pretty hard to get the hang of. Luckily I have quite a bit of practice getting used to it. Um, but even for me, like, especially since I'm not on DS, it'll be a bit more complex. You can leave the top screen to the computer, but obviously it's not optimal. Um, on the phone, Instead of having two people and at once, you can uh, call in your partner with a specific, like, Neku can call in their partner, kind of like they he can use the pins by using a certain command. So, for example, um, when you tap on a enemy, Shiki will come in and attack it with her uh, cat thing on the phone version. At the same time, you can also fire bullets by tapping, so. It works. It's it's definitely a good compromise, considering that there's obviously no way you could do this on a phone. Neku is a lot more flexible and can do a lot more damage, usually, than the person on the top screen. But you really need to uh, keep track of both of them as much as you can. Neku can uh, dash around when making him temporarily invincible, so he doesn't usually take as much damage. No, it doesn't keep the mechanic as much, but it does encourage you, because you do more damage if you attack the enemy at the same time with your um, partner. And instead of making combos with the person on the top screen for uh, big combo attacks, you just have to attack the same opponent together. So it is a bit easier, honestly. So, But again, the phone is port is still, a, I think, a pretty good way to play the game. Uh, you are missing out on the gameplay of the DS, but I don't know. It's pretty, it's pretty hard to get a hang of, honestly, the DS combat. Of course, you can just phone it into the uh, uh, computer to get through most of the main game and just focus on uh, bottom screen or Neku. The second day. Don't worry, days will get much longer. Yeah.
Twoey? The world ends with you, Twoey? 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 I don't know. It's just an acronym, because saying the world ends with you is kind of hard to do. Twoey? 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 I don't know. It's just an acronym, because obviously the world ends with you is quite a long thing to spell out, so whenever somebody, like, hashtags or something, you know, art with it, they usually put uh, that acronym instead, just because, it, you know, it's pretty long title. <laughs> Neku really does have a point here. Unfortunately, this is never brought up again. And he's completely ignoring Shiki. I don't know. It might just be different accents and stuff. For example, in Michigan, we kind of slur some of our words together, but we also are in the Midwest and thus have the least offensive a offensive accents by statistics. So all of our newscasters end up trying to speak like us. So weird things that you just kind of know sometimes. I mean, you can say it, and I usually like. If I'm talking to someone, it doesn't take too long to say it, but, like, typing it all out is a bit annoying. Oh. I like how Shiki's response, while totally normal, does it kind of misses the point. Meanwhile, Neku in his head is kind of figuring out everything you would exp like if you were to just kind of coolly analyze the situation. Like, he's actually he might be like really annoyed with Shiki, but he's actually figuring everything out, like and putting two and two together. 
Doesn't mean that he's like, not being like really horrible to Shiki though. <laughs> Pins are fun in this game. Pins are basically all the different attacks you can have, which means that they're a great opportunity for merch. Sadly, there's no official merch, but you can find them on Etsy and stuff, like some nicer quality ones. And some of the designs are really nice, and they all got a read on art, like upgraded art for the phone and uh, Switch. So they actually look pretty good if you get them on Etsy. Just, you know, make sure you're buying them from like the right place. Anyway, scanning allows us to hear other people's thoughts. Uh, gold noise symbols like this are related to quests. Red ones are just normal enemies. And then there's a couple of other types that I'll explain when we get to them. You're good as gone. Got a nice slashing physical attack here that stuns enemies. Some pins uh, will be ready straight from the start of battle, and some will take a minute to actually like boot up, and they have different boot times after you use them, where you have to wait to actually use them again. So, who's next? so Kinesis, we can toss things around. It's good, but it's reliant on whatever is around to actually use, so it's not the best. Doesn't get a lot of play, unfortunately. Because you can't like really left lift enemies or anything like that. So, two of the better ones here. We've got uh, a, our starter bullet one, and a interesting lightning one, where you tap on enemies and you can chain between enemies and do more damage and stuff. Bullets are good for uh, juggling enemies and keeping them stunned. Yeah, and there's different kinds of bullets. Like, there's a lot of interesting pins to mess around with and stuff. And there's, like, sets of pins that have, like, special effects and stuff.
Yeah, Nuku is pretty, pretty angsty teen at this point. Beat and rhyme. Neck is just off over there. <laughs> no, he's just neck. You don't feel bad. The localization team did a fairly good job translating Beat's dialect. It's sometimes it goes a little bit overboard, but it they actually do a fairly good job of keeping Beat's uh, dialogue in character and not being too ridiculous. We have to go through all of these to get through this, so. Uh, using the phone. You can pick out your pins. It's basically the menu is what they're explaining. And then they gave us a healing pin, which is nice of them. Pink hair chick. Girl with the pink hair. We saw a pinky in an off-screen thing. She was talking to that other guy. Remember, they were betting over who could erase the most players, and whoever lost had to buy the winner a bowl of ramen. Today's mission.
No more questions. Hey, Vin. I was right. You are right here. Ah. But yeah, this music is good. We get more and more music as we go through the game, too. The game soundtrack is really good. Another bad thing about the Switch port has remixes of the original album. They're not as good. <laughs> it, it just, they are just aren't. There's some remixes on the official album that are pretty good, but the, but the Switch port remixes just, they just, really aren't good and I'm not sure why they felt like they needed to change it yeah well like there's the official album that they released after the DS game that has some remixes and some of those are pretty good like there's live versions uh, there's like a rock version of the main theme that's pretty good but in the in the switch version they have remixed all the uh, songs and they're just not as good you can switch over to the uh, original versions if you want on the Switch, but... Another reason not to play the Switch version. Unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that that port got made so lazily, honestly. But yeah, speaking of the localization, uh, this game in Japan, it roughly translates to actually, uh, it's What a Wonderful World, which gets name drops in one place. That's much different than uh, the uh, World Ends With You, which is name drop in a different place in this game. But yeah, we're pretty much done with a good amount of the tutorials, not all of them. So if you look, next to okay so we have the phone on the right there if you look past the battery past the internet connection thing there's a little pig thing there that means that there's a pig noise around this one's right here pig noise most of them yeah well it's just a different focus um oh shoot i forgot to equip any pins right now so i can't attack with naku it'll be fine probably but pig noise uh they just drop, they can't really attack, and they just drop uh, good pins and stuff. This one only drops a good chunk of money, um, but other ones will drop like nice pins and stuff. And you have to just kind of look around for them and keep an eye out. Okay, yeah, 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 um, menu stuff. One interesting thing about this game is once you level up, you can de-level yourself because leveling only affects HP in this game. You gain other stats by eating food and stuff and going through battles. And if you de-level yourself, your drop rate increases. So right now we have the regular drop rate. If I get to level 2, set myself back to level 1, now we have the twice the drop rate. Uh, difficulty, we don't have any other difficulty settings. I'll probably play on normal or hard. 
especially since we don't get ultimate until later. Uh, we'll just change. Yeah, mid is fine. Items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, slots for wearing stuff, uh, eating stuff, that kind of thing. Can also change the music when we get other tracks as well. So keep an eye out for that. Pins. Right now we can only have two pins equipped at a time. We can unlock the other ones as we go. Put in these two, I guess, for now. That's fine. We can have different decks. Over here is our mastered stuff. Any pins like this, we can cash in for money. Uh, character growth one. If you try and sell this, it says you can't cash in the pin. It's worth more than all the yen in the world. Save minute. And then just the save screen. Esper rank, just how many battles you've gone through. That's what the Esper points are. Noise report. Shoot. No, noise report is obviously how many different types of noises sound. Pin mastery, how many different types of pin you've mastered and have on you currently. Not how many have you mastered over time, just what you have on you. And then item collection, final time attack, which is a boss rush mode that you unlock at the end of the game. Wait, I wonder. Because I think, because if you press L, yep, still works. You get an item in game that says if you press L and R, it shows the playtime, and it still does now, even without the item. So that's neat. Okay. So, I'm just gonna. There are no random encounters in this game. Uh, you just scan and uh, pick which noise you want to fight. Open up your senses. Yeah. Mostly, the difference in title kind of reflects the difference in focus. The World Ends With You is much more personal focus, while What A Wonderful World is more society focused. So, which makes sense for Western versus Eastern culture. By the way, if you don't know much about Hachigo, uh, what they're talking about here, um, if you don't know much about like Japanese culture and stuff, Hachiko is a statue of a dog. Yes, so the story of Hachiko is that um, he used to escort his um, owner every day to the uh, to the train stop and he would wait for him there when he got home like every day on because he learned the routes so he knew when his uh, master or owner would get off the train so he would wait there every day. Unfortunately, one day there was a uh, natural disaster and his owner died on the train however he continued to wait there for he used to go there every single day for three whole years waiting for his um, owner to come back and uh, when he eventually died the they erected a statue in his memory Just doing some random battles to get some XP, get better accustomed to the battle system. Gone. 
slashing motion is a little bit harder than I'd like without a stylus, but... Oh yeah, this thing. Oh, Pister Moye, you're feeling stuck between a rock and a hard place. I can tell. People put you up on a pedestal. Birds poop on you. What a life. Believe in fantasy. Come on, you can tell me. Something on your mind? That guy. Who's he talking to? He's talking to a statue. <laughs> Give the man some space. Yeah, a little bit. Like, you have to kind of, like, make a quick slash motion while also clicking. And, yeah. I'm getting Oh, different song now. You're good as gone. Hurry, Jay. I think you can kind of cheese the like upper combat with like a macro though like there's macros you can set up to kind of cheese the upper combat because they can like attack much faster than any like person can oh sorry i'm probably clicking too through through too fast <laughs> Cleared the wall, not the mission. Well, the thing is, if I read it in my head, we would be zip zooming to buy too quickly. I used to like reading a lot when I was younger, so I have a pretty high level of reading comprehension for English, so I can read English really gosh darn fast. Anyway, we got another slot for pins, so I will throw on the bullets because they're good to have. Oh yeah, uh, top screen, we've got a map here of the city, and we also have brand chart, which is the brands and stuff. We literally don't have to worry about that now and can't do anything about it. It'll get explained later. It's a gimmick. It doesn't make or break the game, so. Uh, okay, so. And I don't want to try and do voices or read the whole thing out loud. Focus. Hey, another pig noise. <laughs> Look at this dude. He's late for his first date, but he just wants to go home and game some more. Even though he's late for the date because he stayed up all night playing the game. Don't get any thinner, he said. Well, for now, I don't want to let my honey bear down. So from now on, I'll eat a full three moles of the day and snack every two hours. <laughs> Some of these get, like, continuations, too. Like, what people are thinking. Okay, another pig noise. Different ones have different gimmicks, too. Like, there's one that can only be killed by closing the DS. I did not find out that for like days. I tried to kill that thing so gosh darn often. 
and eventually I just like had to go do something while I was trying to kill it and I left the DS closed came back and it was dead and I'm like what how I only found out later that uh, that was how you killed it oh yeah we can go to that drugstore like I said this whole world thing is pretty like interconnected like a lot of the things that they mention are actual places like stores you can go to It's not a boss, it's a optional, like, side, like, minigame kind of almost thing. Yeah, I think the only other time I've seen that mechanic was the, uh, one of the DS, like, Legend of Zelda games where you had to close the DS to put two maps together to, like, copy over a mark onto one. Looking back on it though, the pig is asleep the whole battle, so it does kind of, it kind of gives you a hint, but you know. Yeah, this bit, like, it never actually tells you where to go to actually get the info you need. Feels weird only being able to do one battle at a time, because later you'll get the ability to chain different battles together for better items and a better score, more XP, all that stuff. Man, that slashing thing is not fun on I should see if I can homebrew my... Well, not homebrew. Custom firmware my 2DS. So I can stream from my 2DS. Because that would be a lot easier to play on. Yeah, that's true. Thankfully, I'm not new to the combat. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly... This isn't a terrible way to play the game, but I honestly wouldn't recommend it. Like, if you have no prior experience with the combat. Open up your senses. I'm just uh, grinding a little bit. Well, grinding and getting used to the controls a bit. Watch yourself. You don't have to grind too much because you kind of make your own difficulty in this game because you can choose what difficulty level you play on and stuff. Yeah, keyboard and mouse, yeah. Plus, slash attacks are so much fun in this game, so it'd be a shame not to be able to use them as much. 
I have to figure out how to use the microphone too. Because there's one fight where you have to use the microphone. Because some of the pins, you blow into the mic to activate them. They're not too good though, so it's not really a huge loss not to use them in this game. But there is one fight where you have to use it. So I'll have to figure out how to get that working at some point. You're good as gone. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll try and custom firmware my 2DS if I can find a safe way to do it. Um, relatively safe way to do it. So I can play on that instead. You're good as gone. So, have to go over here, scan him again. Probably. I think if you actually want to say a specific thing, like for Nintendogs, you have to record it beforehand. But yeah, I think there's probably a button for the mic. Of course, I could be really mean to you guys and leave you on the cliffhanger of day two. Because day two's got a cliffhanger. <laughs> uh. Nah, probably. Get... We'll probably get through day three. Like I said, they get longer and longer the farther we get into the game. nice little detail that you can't really see if you look on the bottom screen right now that Chico is not its usual brown self it's got a more like gray and like pointy eared version of it down there right now same on the top screen too Games get a lot of attention to detail. Your good is gone.
Deja vu. Hey, first boss. Hey, give me a chance, dig me deep. Give me a chance, dig me deep. Trust me with the words. Give me a chance, dig me deep. Level yo. I trust me with the world. I always trust so. Yeah, this is really awkward playing with the keyboard and mouse. Uh, sun challenge hollow with my soul. Put your hands up. Do that piece. I'm okay, I'm hard, so hard, so hard, to so find a mark.
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Stream's over, guys. See you tomorrow. No, just kidding. We still got another 45 minutes. No way I'm yeah. stopping now. I've been excited to play this game for the last two or three days. And unfortunately, now we have to see this cutscene over again. Just in case, you know, you stopped at the spoiler and, or you stopped at that point and for some reason walked away for a while. <laughs> Oh yeah, shut down. Resume the game after quit and turn off the power and pins Neku's wearing will gain power points for the time you were away. Up to seven days. Yeah, there's different types of XP for pins. There's battle XP, there's shutdown XP, and then there's uh, mingle XP. Mingle XP is, unfortunately, you need to like encounter people with another copy of the game, basically, to get all the pins. I just did it with my physical copy and an M and an ace card to get all the pins. Because different, if you have a majority of a certain type of XP with some of the pins, they will evolve. So. Hanakoma. Sane Hanakoma. You mean she tricked you? <laughs>
Six hours. No. Yeah, six hours. I'm doing math right. There's no actual in-game time limit. All the places they're talking about, by the way, are actual places like in the Shibuya shopping district. Because Shibuya is it, like a district and it's like a big shopping district in Tokyo. Easy mode. Not gonna do it. Don't need it. You got it. Oh wait, okay, never mind. We have to scan him later. Cause I remember this day. First, uh, this is the first shop we can go into. The shop, the shop system in this game is really interesting. Each of the sh different shops are are run by different people, and they will get more fond of you the more times you shop there, and like the more money you spend there, basically. Um, and each of them have will clue you in to the abilities, like the extra ability of items in their shop or a couple of other items that you can bring to them that they will know about and 
the more you buy from them, the more abilities you can lock, unlock with them. Some of them will give you like options to buy new things, um, quest items, stuff like that. If you bring in certain items, it, they also have like, you know, somewhat different vocal stuff that they say, depending on how like affectionate they are to you, like when you buy something and stuff. It's not a huge thing, but I, it's kind of an interesting concept and it's something I wish I could see in another RPG. I look forward to your next visit. Anyway. So... Yeah. Flashback time. Time for more of Mr. H. In honor of your growth as a human being and a friendship saved from the rocks, I'm going to give you a little advice and a little gift. Make sure you remember it all. Okay, but could, first, could you remember my name? <laughs> uh, it's not, it's Neku, not phones. Huh? <laughs> all right. Sorry, Neku. My bad. I got it now. Reaper's game. Must complete seven missions, one each a day. S Only if you all fail to be precise. Yes, very sharp phones. Ugh. He already forgot his name. <laughs> or he's just choosing not to use it. Me? <laughs> Name is Sanai Hanakoma, born March 3rd, blood type A. I'm a Pisces, one hip <laughs> and one hip cafe barista, Miss. Uh, I didn't ask for your personal ad. <laughs> I'm a big gambler. My favorite wind word, windfall. Nato gets my tumbly rub. <laughs> like I said. As for my physical dimensions, stop, please. Hanakoma is really good. Mm-hmm. Lore dump, lore dump. There's a lot of, like, explaining of how this works all and everything. Yeah, this one, they don't go too overboard on the lore dumps. They'll go, they're not subtle in what the themes of the game are, but they do have some good lore dumps in the, this game. 
And they're, they're, they're not too over the top. Like, they're all interesting, and if you want to really dig into stuff, there's, like, extra stuff after the main game that explains a bit more of the story, what happens off-screen, and digs into some more lore, which we'll go over when we get to it. That's it. This is our combo attack thing. Just to be clear, you need more than talent to use that. It takes somebody with style. If you catch my drift, I'll use it. <laughs> And please, my name is Neku, not Phones. Huh? <laughs> oh right, sorry about that. I got it now, Phones. <laughs> Just explaining how uh, Shiki's stuff works. Don't worry, I know how it works. He was quite a character. And really bad with names. I'll say. Blah, blah, blah. I'll just show it off a minute. So basically, there's three level of combo attacks in this game. We'll, the Before the post-game stuff, you can only get up to the second level with all of the character, or with uh, Shiki. You'll have to wait till the post-game to get to a higher fusion attack level. Gosh dang it, they keep knocking her down. Okay, there we go. This is the first level. Uh, using the combo attack also will uh, refill some HP as well and does damage to every enemy on screen for shiki you just have to like get the correct card at the end of the combo so that's enough smile right back no i don't believe in fantasies Okay, I think we can go up here now. No, not yet. Okay. I don't know if we even need to go up there yet. I don't think so. Not yet. We will in a minute, though. Another pig noise here somewhere. Star scanning. I think he's down here. Yep, he is. There you are. Nice, first star rank. Yeah, I guess I don't really need to play on the DS. I'm doing okay on the battle system. Cosmic Corner, don't need to go in there right now. Ramadan! Looks like we found our man. 
Um, I will be going through the main game, and then I have a save file where I have everything done. So I will show off everything on that save file because that's my actual like game save file, like from my physical copy. I recently found a way to uh, extract extract the save file from that and put it like in digital form. So once we finish the main game. I will play the extra stuff on that copy so that I can show off all that. So, because it would take a while to like collect all the pins, collect all the items, and everything. But I will show off. I'll show off everything, but I won't collect it all on a stream. This guy, he has a lot of good stuff. Okay. Uh, what should we go for first? Buy that. Yep. We should uh, honestly get some more money and uh, do our best to buy as much ramen from this guy as possible. Because not only does he give us access to a pretty good item for raising our defense, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, we can only eat so much food per day until we get an item that allows us to eat more. Ramen. Gotta feed some noise and get some money for ramen. Watch yourself. Gosh, dang it. Just when I thought I was doing okay, too. Gosh, darn it. Playing out uh, with some of the abilities. Messing with me. Okay. Oof. Didn't even drop any money. I know a way we can get them to drop more money, but uh, that'll be better, I guess. Save a minute. Oh, you can see the m mouse? Yeah. Yeah, no. Ouch. This hurts. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to see if I can uh, find a way to get... Yeah, yeah I'm definitely going to try and see if I can get a way to export uh, footage from my 2DS. Because this hurts, honestly. It hurts <laughs> to be playing it like this. Watch yourself. If not, I can always keep playing like this, but yeah, this, this definitely isn't the way I'd like to play this game. I mean, it works okay, but it's a little awkward. Like, especially trying to move Neku around is a bit awkward. I mean, moving Neku around is a little awkward at the best of times, because moving with him and 
uh, attacking are basically done with the same kind of thing sometimes, like with the fire and everything. Also, not having the ability to like pop back up after getting knocked around or knocked down is messing with me. Um, yeah. Also, slashing movements are kind of hard to do. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Can we even defend with Shiki yet? No, we can't even defend with Shiki yet. We have no way of stopping Sh Shiki from getting hit. Oh, that's right, we should... Pins. Uh, let's switch out for this one. And then I guess maybe this one. Yeah, we have to tank. Yep. This is the drop rate, by the way. So right now, they're dropping things at three times as often as I usually would. Got a chunk of change right there. Oh, we have a bunch of those. Hmm. I think we can turn those in for one of the kinds of ramen. Yeah, we can. How much? Six bites? Okay. Like I said, he has some pretty gosh darn good items. And if we buy enough from him, he'll give us access to more. We can only have up to nine of uh, an item. Uh, yeah, there we go. Mystic Ramen. What do we need? Oh, we can't get that yet. Okay. But it increases our defense by four, which is pretty good. In any case, attack. Oh, that's what I should have done. Should. See, now he's maxed out on affection force or whatever. Yeah, that's good. You. I'll have to hoard any money that we get after this for probably some things to wear. Anyway, attack. It's edible. So yummy. Okay, let's see what's up with this guy. Nope, nope, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Come on, let me heal. No, not like this. Ah, nuts. Shoot, where did we... Did we save... Ah. It's edible. Whatever. So yummy. I'll have to... Well, do we have... Yeah, we have money on us right now. I'll buy a couple of things from him again.
you. Yeah, I remember to save. I guess so. Let's also put our level back up, I guess. Open up your senses. Watch yourself. Captain Sappy. <laughs> Oh yeah, we can go in here, but it, it's just a quest thing right now. This shop doesn't open up to us later. Huh? This is just stuff. He won't. He'll refuse not to tell you any of it, but there is one thing that we should check out here just for the dialogue. You got the part, right? Um, define got. <laughs> you Nimrod, go get the part. Move it. <laughs> Domo, Domo already got to <laughs> for finding the tech. about seven minutes left. Hey, Kiroshi. Thank you. Where's the tech? Looks like he's... Oh, he's, that's right. He's in here, isn't he? Nope. He must be up then. Because we can get there earlier. Cause... Two of those. Open up 
your senses. Your good is gone. <laughs> Face, face. face saying battle fans, put your hands up, do the peace. Oh, that's right, you gotta be two of them, okay. There's another, there. There's another one. Well, we haven't gotten an E rank at least yet. Okay, so now she can jump at least. What's this meme for? <laughs> meme? What's a meme? That got memed, by the way. <laughs> I think Shiki could use our help. <laughs> What do you mean gaming floor? Maybe it's like a floor of a department store that's for gaming? Question mark? Depends on the context. Oh. What's so gamer about you?
Yeah, okay. Basically, at certain points, we'll have to send ideas into people's heads to get them to do things. To continue with the missions. Oh, here's the first time we see one of the side characters. <laughs> Full of fail as usual. Thank you. I know. Anyway, uh, we can imprint some things on him to get him to do what we need him to do. So I gotta go ahead and find the people who are thinking about those memes so I can get the right ones. So first one is the fuse. There's other things you can ask him to like, put in his head and he'll go grab them, but he'll just get yelled at because they're not the right things. Um, except for one other thing. So you may have noticed that the guy 777, Death March, was coughing a lot. You can also get him to pick up some cough drops for Death March. By the way, different stores are open on, like you can get to different stores on different days, so. Uh, we don't really have enough money to go to in this top one here. Basic and casual is pretty much the name of the game right now. Hello. Must Radis. Not the greatest place. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway. And then obviously there's the burger co Welcome to sunshine. burger shop. Thanks, come again. For more dank memes than the previous team, yeah. The real cat. So then Cat was a group of 20 different creators? Makes sense. Cat covers so many genres and releases new work all the time. One person can never be that prolific. I have to turn in that draft soon, but I don't want to face it. So I'm out here instead. Uh, another pig noise. I think that one to the left. To the left more. Oops. Too far, too far. There it is. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, two oh two, and we're on the third day. Uh, I'll probably, so, we have, once we send him to go over do the fuse thing, we'll have to fight the boss, so I'm gonna go ahead and save here, and call it a stream, just because, A, I don't think we're ready to fight the boss, and B, it's already been two hours, so, I'm gonna call the stream here for today, uh, we got through the three first days, and so we're gonna pick up... Yeah, we're going to pick up back here again tomorrow. I'll see if I can get the 3DS thing working. Hopefully it does. If not, keep playing on the emulator. Not the worst thing in the world. So I will see you here tomorrow. Hopefully, same time, same place. Yeah.
I'm really excited to be starting this game. So, see you tomorrow. Hope you have a good one.